What is up, YouTube world? Down here with Sully, Bindi. We're getting ready to kind of play some musical iguanas here. So Ron has healed up pretty nicely, um, and he is ready to get moved back. So, but what we kind of wanted to do is Bindi and Sully. Sully's been, I don't know, I think he's just, he's grown a little bit too big for what Bindi is. So she spends a lot of time just hiding and just hasn't been able to thrive as well as, you know, I really would like her to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him in with Tammy because they're both going to be much, much closer in size. Oh, hey boy. Oh yeah, look at him loving them pets. And then I'm going to move Ron back in here with Bindi, because uh, Ron is a little bit smaller than what Sully is. Um, and Ron typically is a little bit more submissive. Um, not that Sully's an aggressor by any stretch, but just since he's been kind of bothering Bindi, you know, I just want to kind of see, see what happens. You know, we're going to keep a really close eye on everything. But yeah, so today we're going to move some iguanas around. Oh, look at that boy. We are back here in... Tammy's cage. Just put Sully over in here. It was right down, uh, right down the road from each other in the basement. So yeah, so I mean, I think they're going to be a pretty decent pair together. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on it. They've both been in here before. Or this cage has been used for Bindi and Sully, but then they would always try and escape to get back into the other cage where Ron and Tammy were. So we've been always been playing musical cages here. So everybody's always already used to these cages. Tammy's been in there with Sully before, and they all seem to work out pretty decently, so. So we're gonna keep an eye and see. You got another boyfriend back in here, girl. You can tell she's thrilled. <laughs> yeah, she don't care. And then, of course, our Sully boy. So it should be interesting to see how it all kind of works out, but, uh, you know, we do have in here got plenty of visual barriers, so I've got these kind of, like, raised raised garden pen things so i can kind of even though everything's nice and open plenty of barriers different places that they can hide and get away this is a 10 foot by six foot coop which yes it is built very crappily because i tried to do things as cost effectively as possible and cut corners didn't work don't do that um so that's why we've had so many escapees but everything knock on wood Seems like everyone's working well now. I haven't been having any escapees. Hey, Tam Tams. Hi, baby girl. This is what you want to see. Whenever you go to pet your iguanas, they just stand right up. They got their tail down. That means they're happy to see you. Oh, you got some scales. Got some scales trying to come off. Oh, yeah. And I brought some blueberries down, too. I'm going to give to everyone just to keep them nice and happy. Look at that face. Such a sweet girl. I just grabbed the blueberries that I put outside the cage so I can uh, just give them, oops, drop them. Just keep everybody nice and happy here. Hey, Tammy girl. I know you love your blueberries. Yeah, girly. I'm telling you, man, for all these cyclora, blueberries are like crack to them. Anytime you want to get on their good side and give them some treats, blueberries are definitely where it's at. Give a few more here, give them to Sully. Keep this boy nice and happy in here. Hey, come here, big guy. So just another tip too, just uh, since I see my, I saw the tile here. So see, Cyclora love high temperatures. So if you have any animal that needs like a really hot basking temperature, like Cyclora, different monitors, things like that. This is a, a black slate tile from Home Depot. It holds heat so, so, so nicely. Um, you know, so I mean, we're definitely getting, you know, the 120, 130 that we want on a lot of parts of this. Um, so yeah, so that's good stuff. Oh, oh, Tam Tam's coming over. Girl, what are you doing? See, now what I'm expecting to see is some sort of a dominant squabble. Um, which, yeah, there you go. See, not too terrible. She kind of jumped at him. He's head bobbing, but it's not really bad. With Ron, they were kind of squabbling a little bit too much, um, for my liking. Granted, it is getting close to breeding season here, but 
they're not puffing up, making themselves all big too much. Um, so I think that these guys are going to get along pretty well. See, Tammy's kind of trying. You can kind of see how she's flattened herself out a little bit. But Sully just, he doesn't care. I mean, if anything, he's just like, he's doing his own thing. He's like, girl, you are just crazy. See, that's all normal stuff. They're, they're gonna have little squabbles. It's it's totally normal um, that you're gonna see some things as they try and assert dominance over one another. So that's why when you first introduce, even though I know these guys know each other, this is a new situation, I wanna make sure that everything is gonna go smoothly. See, Tammy's being a little bit of a jerk. Okay, hello. What are we doing here? Let's try to make sure this door stays shut. Yeah, it's to be expected, but that's why I'm in here. I'm watching just to make sure that nothing actually gets to a point of... Oh, thanks, Sully, for peeing. And thank you, Tammy, for walking through it. If Sully wants nothing to do with her. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okie dokies. So Tammy is going to be Queen Bee here as she tries to figure out what the heck is happening. Okay, I guess we're playing uh, Ring Around the Rosie here. And Sully's trying to say, what the heck, man? Why are you trying to do all this? Oh, and... Tag, you're it. Back over here. Now we're gonna go run around me again. And Sully's trying to bob at her and say, we're good, bro, we're good. But it'll calm down here shortly. I'll keep y'all posted because I don't want y'all to see them just running around for 20 minutes. So things finally, after a few minutes, have calmed down. Just a lot of chasing. You know, she'll sit there and open her mouth and try and get a little bit nippy, which yeah, it's normal. They're trying to, you know, figure out dominance here. The good thing that I like about Sully is he has always been much more submissive. So he wasn't trying to jaw fence with her. He wasn't trying to do anything to try and show who the dominant one is. When she's chasing him, he's kind of just... He's running, he's going the other direction, head bobbing, just doesn't really want any part of it. So, in theory, they should start getting along pretty well here. I've been giving them, once they stop the chasing and then they separate themselves, I've been giving them blueberries to make sure that everything stays positive here for all of them. So he's just down there just enjoying some basking while Tammy's over here right now. So again, I'm just gonna keep a, a close eye on them, but so far everything is, uh, it's pretty much going exactly as planned. Tammy here is, uh, she's definitely queen bee, uh, queen bee here of her home. Well, I got Ron. You can kind of see him on my back. What a freaking lunatic. He just did not want to get held when I went to get him, which is normal. It's a lot of cyclora don't enjoy getting held. Hey, buddy. Hey, go get your blueberries. Hey, baby. See, he looks so good. So his wound here, we get around there. So he actually, the big chunk of skin that got damaged actually already shed off. So you can see it's just right there where it's all that white spot there. That's just all the new skin growth. Um, all this orange and all that, that's just stains from uh, the betadine. So he should be, uh, he's doing good. Hey baby, look, they're right there. They're right behind you. No, look, over here. You doofus. Whatever, weirdos. And then here's our crazy girl, Bindi. She's always been a little bit on the small side. Hey, look, look, I got blueberries for you. You're gonna have to come get them though. I see Ron's just going back over there where I put his blueberries. Uh, I just need to replace the UV light for right there to make sure both these basking spots stay in good shape here. I'm not expecting too much squabble from these guys. So when I first got Ron, I actually paired him with Bindi. You know, and this was, you know, gosh, like a year and a half ago or something like that. 
and Bindi was just kicking his butt. But then of course, that's when Ron was new. He hadn't asserted himself yet. And then when I first put her with Sully, same deal. She was uh, she was kicking his butt and he was just taking it. But now, a little bit more age on him. Ron's a little bit bigger now. You know, hopefully everything will go, uh, is gonna go pretty smoothly here. Her's gonna take, but look at all the blueberries, girly. See, she's just a little bit of a nutcase. Such a pretty girl, though. And she's just very dark. A little skinny, because she hasn't been eating as much because of Sully. Tail is still perfect, though, which I love. So she hasn't been losing any weight. She just hasn't necessarily been growing. But we're gonna get her. Let's see, so this is how you slowly start to work on the taming side of things. You know, she used to be great. And now she's just being a little nut job. <laughs> And she is fired up a little bit, but girl, I said she escaped so much that we always had to grab her and it just, she lost all of her trust in us, you know? So when she's cold, I can still touch her, but you can see she's still trusting enough to move nice and slow and she can do that. Just got to spend a little bit more time with her. Hey, right. you're okay. All right, so that's enough blueberries for right now. I'm gonna put these outside the cage real quick and then I'm gonna keep my eye on them for a few minutes. Yeah, and even though uh, Ron is very, very used to this cage, this used to be his, because anytime you're moving your animals around, you know, you wanna make sure the stress is limited and just keep them as happy as possible. You know, so with Ron right now, I mean, he's been through a lot these last few weeks because of that, uh, his little injury, but so just giving him some loving, just coming in here with him and, oh God, look at that. Sorry, I had to take a picture of that because that is just, it's like a statue. Yeah, so just gave him some of his blueberries, giving him some love, some pets, some scratches, just keeping him as happy as possible. And what the heck? I think Sully and Tammy are fighting. I'll have to go check back on them here in just a second. But, uh, oh my goodness, my Ronald. All right, well, let me go check on Ron and Tammy because I'm hearing a lot of noise. So I hear all this noise, I come over here, I see Tammy walking back to her basking spot. I just have the door closed because the door is kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt to open up here. But yeah, she's just over there, he's still over there, so. Bunch of goofballs, man. But what I do like is they're not constantly going at it and chasing. They're going, doing it for a minute, then they're going back to the separate sides to their basking spot. So that's all very good. So far this introduction has been going pretty solid. And I still keep my eye, I've got the cameras. You can kind of see the cable running up right there for the camera that's in here. So, gonna keep my eye on them. Alrighty, so, ooh, getting nice and dark down here coming up this basement. Alrighty, so thanks for uh, coming along on all that, folks. I'll keep y'all updated on uh, on how they're all doing. Hey, goofballs. Um, if you're not already, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, so I do a lot more posting on that and pictures and updates, all stuff like that. Uh, so GBL Iguanas for both of them. Of course, GBLiguanas.com. You can get all your shirts, like this beautiful one right here. Yeah, you look good in it. Um, still running our 10% off. GBLiguanas.com. Promo code is Diego10, D-I-E-G-O-1-0. Shirts, hoodies, hats, all sorts of fun stuff on there. You'll also get a personalized video thank you from myself from Auburn whatever you want um, so as always like comment subscribe thank you for joining along on our little adventure here and we'll catch you all on the flippity flip